So I think there are two ways. One is the generic way that you need to do, which is go to every information session, go to them as well, like earlier. So if you have the opportunity, it depends on where you are in school. But if you go as a freshman and sophomore, like go early if you know it's something you want to do eventually. And treat those as, I would like to call it kind of like a speed dating type thing, where you try to meet as many people in a respectful, interesting, you know, like way, uh, and get their business card. And so you, a lot of times, these events will have like hundreds of students, and you'll have 15 people that work for the company. If you can meet five, six, ten of those people while you're there in the networking session, that can be really powerful to take the business card. And they're not, chances are, going to remember many, if any, of the 300 people they meet that night, especially when it's 10 people standing around them in the circle. Um, and so I would just, you know, try to go up, ask a question or two, listen to what, what other people have to say for a minute or two, and then say, thank you very much, we have this car, pick your name along the way. And I would use the opportunity less to kind of impress them, because there's more risk to the downside there, and do the opportunity instead to just get the contact and then later on follow up with them and try to have a phone call and coffee chat. And some will be willing to come along directly. Yep. The, the most effective way, though, and this is less about getting leads, and so that's part of you kind of have to figure out depending on your interest in picking between the or whatever. But I think the most effective way is to try and find somebody or some people who genuinely are invested in your success and genuinely care about you. And so uh, that can be, you know, someone you knew who's a couple years above you and some activity you did and went to that company. It can be someone you meet in an affinity group or a diversity event or a networking session. It could have it could end up being one of the people you met at one of these events. Um, but ultimately try to find people that because they were alumni, because they're family friends, because they're whatever, they met you in some specific context that they feel invested in you because I met a few of those that were alumni of my fraternity that I was in or different things. And those people were willing, therefore, to make introductions for me. So if you pass me around to that firm, put me in touch with the people and help guide me to who were the people who were actually in the room reviewing the resume that we can need to talk to and those types of things. I think there is often a feeling that networking just means talk to as many people as possible. And you should do that because that increases the chances that you talk to the right people. But um, the best you can do to try to find somebody who cares about you, who then ends up in that resume room, or who knows somebody that ends up in that, re that reviewing room, that will sit there and say, I really like this person because they're very good. That's yeah. ultimately what gets you there. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that.